you're gonna do a plate today. Dude, just re-rack it here. What did you, what were you doing Dude, there? I can't do it. I, was trying, I thought you were gonna make it go up on that. No, no, I'm sorry. That like freaked me out because I didn't even know you were doing your set. And then you just like failed. Was, you could you do one rep? No, I went down and I couldn't go up. What is he doing there? Oh. Dude, it's been a long time just since I've done like... Put on. Lives. Put on. Did you make it uneven again? Whatever, I don't care. I'll, I didn't touch it. It feels like this. Look, it feels... This is literally... No, no, no. This, oh, that's because you're going that way. <laughs> no, I'm getting it. <laughs> You couldn't even get this for one. Listen, dude, I'm not trying to judge you, but I'm trying to judge you. Troll on a quarter. Yes. Up. Come on. Easy, yes. Up, up. And then throw on a 2.5. Throw on a 2.5. I work my like two weeks You like what? I work my This last week and a half. So you run that? This weekend. With sleep all weekend. <laughs> nice. Hopefully you're able to get good sleep. I will. Because I ain't got shit to do except like get groceries and uh, do that today and then you're done. <laughs> oh. It's five. Yeah. Okay. You put it on. Yeah. You gotta do like a big thirty something. You gotta do push ups. You gotta do handrelease push ups at least like ten minutes. So you do oh, a push up. No, you do a push up. <laughs> and then we go back to the Easy! Oh, squeeze it, yeah! Oh. You're, well, dude, don't go down all the way. That's what you're doing wrong. You're not on this exercise, especially for you because you got stupidly long arms. Do not go down all the way. Go down to your chin. Go down to your chin. Right there to stop. There you go. Go to, go to my hand. There you go. Up. Up. Does that make sense? Does it feel yeah, right now? Because yeah. it's supposed to be a straight path. It's not meant, because what happens is, especially for you, since your arms are long, you have to go so far down, your arms dip at the bottom to, uh, to keep going down. So That's why you can't touch your chest on bench. It's not because you don't have flexible shoulders. It's because your arms are so insanely long compared to your frame. Does that make sense? Yeah. So we're done with this, by the way. We're gonna hit, hit something else.
Dude, it's because you're, I mean, you've taken all this time off, you know? I'm not, I'm leaning forward too much, I'd say. What part am I supposed to be feeling that? Right here, middle. Not the rear, not the front, the middle. But I was leaning forward a little too much. Then we're done. Hi right, boys, I don't know if you can see, but we get the max stack plus 10.
Oh, my bad. Go on, 72 and a half. Weird outs, brother. We're gonna hit rear delts. All right, boys. Wait, I mean, dude, we're gonna go for two two thirty today, huh? Right now we got it on one thirty. All we got to do is a hundred pounds more than this warm up. Thank you, Tom Platt. <laughs> Alright, we have it on 2 30. Let's go. Too heavy, but it's okay. Do 160 and just really pump it up.
Posing time. Posing time. Huh? Posing time. You want to use this space at all? No. I'm on your way? No, you're all good. Forgot my freaking tripod now. <laughs>
Oh, our chair lower back, so that way you can do it faster. Yeah. Boys, today was probably the best workout I've ever had, and guess what? On my birthday. What is the common denominator? What gave me the greatest pump of all time? And allowed me to hit a crazy overhead pressing PR. Can you guess? 200 grams of carbs for breakfast. And no, I didn't drink maple syrup today. I had 1,300 calories worth of Dunkin' Donuts. Okay? And that's courtesy of my good buddy who just brought them to me. First thing in the morning, I wake up, get the crust out of my eyes, and I see this dude with a dozen donuts just waiting for me. And I'm, you know, like super thankful, but then I start munching down and it took me like probably less than 10 minutes to just easily eat those, All right? I didn't eat the whole dozen, gave some to my family and everything, but I ate, I think I had like six, chowed down on them, waited a few hours, digested all that, went to the gym and, and literally wrapped out 210 pounds. I think I might've said 205 on accident, but I mean 210 because it was two plates on each side of a 25 pound Smith machine bar, okay? Cause the Smith machine bars weigh 25 pounds. So 20 pounds less than a standard barbell. So a lot of guys, they'll see me doing two plates and they'll go, oh, that's 225. It's not. If it's on the Smith machine, it's 20 pounds less than it looks usually, okay? So today was two plates on each side with a 2.5 on each side in wraps. So the wraps help for any of you uh, gym newbies who don't know what wraps do, wraps, can reduce inflammation wherever you put them. Uh, like if it's elbow wraps, obviously you put them on your elbow, reduces elbow inflammation, knee wraps, same deal. And then there's sleeves, which do something similar, but they're not as helpful, okay? What wraps do is they also assist your ability to lift the weight. So I don't know if you guys noticed, but it was hard for me to get into position to overhead press, okay? So I had to literally move this way, grab, tighten it, like cut, not even tighten it, but just like really dig into that and then grab. I had to lean over, grab the bar here and then tighten it again. Freaking lean back, you know, and then it made my elbows want to go like this, right? And lock out. And that actually, that ability that the wraps give you to just explosively push, it pushes straight up. Okay. Your elbows want to unbend because the way you put on the wraps, you put them on while your elbows are straight and then if you try to bend, it's hard. So it won't let you go like this. It'll help you go out. If that makes sense. I'm explaining it to you like you're four. But, you know, hopefully for any gym newbie, it makes sense. So it helps a lot. So in reality, I would probably be doing like 190 or something like that for the same amount of reps. So it helps me probably about 20 pounds, which seems accurate. But anyway, my point is, boys. Insane PR, all right? And if I use wraps, that's my standardized form. I don't just use that for PRs. If I'm standardizing my form every week, I use wraps every week, it's still gonna translate to good progressive overload and amazing shoulder development, okay? And what the wraps do also is, at least in my experience, they take the triceps massively out of the equation uh, simply because that's where they're helping is at the elbow joint, right? And I was able to hit another crazy PR on tricep pushdowns, okay, with a ton of weight more. It was the stack plus 10 pounds, which normally I would not be able to do that. I was repping it out like it was pretty much nothing. So, and I thought, I mean, next week on shoulder day, I'm probably going to need to put 25 onto the stack extra if I even can, if they'll freaking, if I have a pin for that or something. Um, but that was solid. Plus, Side raises went good. They went really well. You know, 35 just starting to feel lighter each week, you know, and then rear delt flies literally just gave me the greatest pump known to man. Posing session was just immaculate. I felt like Superman. I felt like maybe Denzel Washington. I don't know, just any cool character. All right. And dude, something about the tunes in my freaking ears and the outfit and the pump. And the birthday, dude, it was a pretty good day. It's a pretty freaking good day. And the carved up, all of it. So, <sighs> anyway, boys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
And I know you guys can see the striation still, even in my kitchen. Like, obviously, even though I'm eating like a horse, you know, eating like a horse, like a Clydesdale horse, you know, one of those big the ones with the hairy hoofs or hairy arms all the way down, I'm still, you know, lean. Because guess what? I'm not in a gigantic surplus, but I am today. I'm in a pretty big surplus today. But week after week, you look at my weekly average, I'm not in a huge surplus at the end of the week. I'm gaining probably a pound to two pounds a week, which is a really good rate of gain. I, I honestly am leaning more towards one pound a week is probably the best rate of gain to put on the least fat. So that's why I might even look leaner now at this stage than I did whenever I was fully cut. Who knows? And I even could still see my sartorius in my freaking leg while I was posing today. So I thought I lost that, but I still have that. But still unlocking new veins, carving up to new heights. Mm. Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow for whatever way. I'm going to do abs and grip tomorrow. Take care.